Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Distrust. It's by Cheer Dealers and Alawar Premium, released on August 23rd, 2017. And yeah, I was pretty excited to get this game. I was like, oh, it kind of looks interesting. And then it came my way. I was like, yes, this looks very interesting. I want to play it. And then I got distracted by real life things. And anyway, we're here. We're going to play it. And I'm going to hop in and start for the very first time. We're going to go through the tutorial, and then we'll play the game in earnest. So, hopefully you guys are ready, eager, and excited, because I certainly am. Ha! Splat. Hopefully there's... Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, uh, let's, let's see what the game's all about. This is the entrance to the building. Send the first polar explorer inside. To do this, click anywhere inside the building. Wow, he was pretty quick. Second, select uh, or select the second Polar Explorer. To do this, click on the portrait at the bottom of the screen or press the 2 button. The keyboard shortcut for selecting the character is displayed above his or her portrait. Send the second explorer inside the building. Cool. Try controlling the camera. Press Q or E, default settings, to turn it. Uh, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and W, A, S, and D to move it. Q and E. Oh, it's it's chunk turning. Okay, that's cool. Uh, these are the vital signs of the selected explorer. They show his or her current well-being. To find out more about a particular vital sign, hover the mouse cursor over it. Uh, what is that? Satiety? 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 Satiety. That's what we're going to go with. A hungry character loses health points. Feed the character something to restore his or her health. That's a weird phrasing. Satiety. That's like you're satiated, right? So it'd be like satiety? I, I, it's strange. It's, a, it's an odd choice. It's fine. Stamina. A tired character loses health points. Have the character sleep to restore his or her health. And finally, warmth. A chilly character can catch a cold. Keep the indoors warm and give the character a jacket to wear. Cool. Uh, this is the temperature of the Polar Explorer. If it becomes too low, the character can become sick. Try to avoid this. This building is not heated and the explorers are freezing. Fire up this furnace to warm the place up. Planes can be found throughout the Polar Base. They make, good, uh, they make a good source of fuel and can be used in numerous repairs. To pick up planks, hover the mouse cursor over them and click on the task icon that appears. Cool. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you now have planks in your inventory. To fire up the furnace, click on the appropriate task icon. It's so cold, we gonna die! Or are we? Hey man, you get that fire started? I'm freezing over here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, if a building with a lit furnace is cold, check the windows. Open and broken windows prevent a building from warming up. I got it. Don't even worry about it, man. You got that fire going. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to keep it warm. It's good stuff. Closing that window. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Excellent. The building is now warm, and the polar explorers are no longer freezing. Remember to keep an eye on how much fuel is left in the furnace. This is displayed on the icon above it. It's time to explore the next room. Cool. I like it so far. It's really, it's really interesting. I, I, I like this so far. All right, this building is dark because the generator is out of fuel. In dark rooms, polar explorers move slowly and must rely on their pocket lights. Start the generator as soon as possible so you don't miss something useful. All right, we're going to go on in. There's a can of gas on the shelf. It is full. It will refuel three generators. To pick it up, click on the task icon. Cool. Gimme. What you doing over there? Oh, I'm just looting some gas. It's, it's fine. To use the gas can to fill the generator, click on the task icon above. Yep, got it all over it. Empty vintage generator. It's a good year. Oh, cool. He sets the flashlight down. That's, that's a nice touch. I like it. The building is now lit. Keep, keep, uh, remember to keep an eye on how much fuel is left in the generator. Some doors are locked, like this one. There are several ways to open a door, many of which become available only after you find the right tool. However, if you find a ring of keys, you can always open a door by finding the corresponding key. 
This takes a long time, but doesn't require a tool. Cool. While one character is busy opening the door, assign a different task to the other character. Select the explorer and send him to examine uh, this back board. It might contain useful information. Dude just like booked it over there. He's like, Wah. Instructions for a POI stove. Coal is the recommended fuel. The stove can also burn wood and can be used as a garbage incinerator. The hunger level of the polar explorer is displayed here. Or the satiety. Satiety. It's fine. Uh, characters begin to starve over time. If you don't feed them, uh, they will begin to lose their health. What? Click on the something to do something to somebody? What? Oh, over here. To look for something edible on the nightstand, click on this task icon above it. Nightstand! Yeah. There's a saw table? What? Got a protein bar. The Polar Explorer found food and placed it in the inventory. Open the inventory by clicking on the backpack or pressing I. Where's the backpack? Oh, up there. Okay. You can find different kinds of food throughout the base. Different food restores different levels of uh, sa satiety. Satiety. Uh, hunger level. Uh, some foods are raw and become more nutritious when cooked. Cool. To feed an explorer, drag the food from the inventory to the explorer's portrait. Gobble. Oh, he's eating now. When you close the inventory by clicking the X, the explorer will perform the action you assigned to him or to her. Um, nom, 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 nom. The progress of the task your team is performing is displayed here. And something. Send the explorer to search the cabinet. It may contain other useful things. Cool. Bad news, the explorer cut himself while searching the cabinet. Idiot! What have I told you? Look first, then explore, man. While searching the base, explorers can suffer from various negative effects. Each effect does something different to explorers. To learn more about the effect, hover the mouse icon over its thing. It's fine. Bleeding reduces health. Apply a bandage to stop. Uh-huh. To stop bleeding, you need bandages. Send the explorer to search this crate. Ooh. What have you learned? Ah, I cut myself again! Dang it! Sterile bandage. To stop something from affecting a character, drag the appropriate item from the inventory onto the character's portrait, open the inventory, and drag the bandages onto the bleeding character. <clears throat> Remember, bandages will apply only after you close the inventory. Well, that just sounds fantastic. Yes. Alright. And bandages complete. Right now. Excellent! The cabinet contained a jacket. You can find jackets that provide varying degrees of protection from the cold throughout the base. The warmer a jacket keeps a character, the longer the character can be in the cold without losing health. To place a jacket on an explorer, open the inventory and drag it to the jacket slot next to the desired character. Well, I don't know if I want to let Cuts of Begee go out. I mean, the dude just got himself wrecked. Eh, the jacket will do the job when nothing else is available. There you go, buddy. Over the mouse cursor over this crate, this icon indicates that you don't have the tools you need to perform a specific action. In this case, you could turn this crate into planks. Look for the right tool. Oh, no! A saw is stuck in the leg of this table. Pull it out. Heck yeah. Alright, now we can craft some planks from this thing. Yep. It's a good way to acquire extra fuel for the furnace. Who knew that would be a thing? The tools the character has found are displayed in the tools window. Open this window by pressing the icon or by pressing T. Utilize tools to perform various actions. Tools wear down as you use them. The saw is one of the tools you can find on the base. Progress bar displays its degree of deterioration. Some broken tools can be repaired on a workbench. Huh. Neat. Alright, what's next? The Polar Explorers have an electronic map of the base. Open the map by clicking or pressing M. That's weird. It's fine. Um, the Polar Base is divided into zones. The map displays the zone in which your expedition is located. For security reasons, each zone has a fence and provides only one door to the next zone. Look for the closed door icon to find the exit. It's gotta be right there. 
The map displays the buildings in the current zone and the location of the status of doors and other important objects, such as explorers, workbenches, and the pass that provides access to the next zone. To move the camera to a certain point on the map, click on that point on the map. Clicking it also closes the window. Okay. I have completed my training and acquired enough knowledge to begin an independent study of the base. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, while that was a little bit of a shorter episode, I think I'm going to leave you guys with that. And in the next episode, we will start our game in earnest. We will know all there is to know. We'll probably die really quickly. But I am going to hope that that's not the case. I had a lot of fun with it so far, but you know what? I feel like keeping the tutorial to itself and then starting the game proper in its own episode. So hopefully you guys approve and you like that. And I will see you guys in just a bit with the first official episode of Distrust. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer or the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Feel free to comment. Let me know, we shouldn't do the tutorial. It's stupid. Or, oh my god. That was amazing, ah, whatever. Whatever it is you guys want to say, go ahead and say it. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.